Okay, YouTube, what we're going to do is a basic hydraulics lesson, and I want this to be really basic, really simple for the people who are not technical, because there are so many people, once you start talking technical stuff, they kind of zone out, all right? And we're going to be talking about like just the basic components um, in the clutch system. Okay, but this is the probably one of the most important things to know. So what I want you to remember for this is air is compressible, fluid is not for what we're talking about. All right, so air is compressible, fluid is not. So what I have here is a 60 millimeter syringe, huge syringe. All it is is a, it's a um, it's a cylinder, okay, with a plunger, and on the end of this plunger you have the seal or the piston, okay. So that goes in here, and with this in here, what I can do, I can suck up air. I can push out air or I can suck up a fluid okay and by pressing on the plunger I can create a pressure and push out that fluid All right, so fairly simple. All right, so what I want to do is I want to use this cylinder to move this plunger. Okay, so when I squeeze this plunger in, I want to see this plunger move out. I just I just did that and nothing happened, right? Nothing happened because I'm not using that pressure to pressurize this cylinder just yet. So what what do we got to do? We're going to take a piece of hose in this case, okay? Clear rubber hose. I'm going to connect it to the end of this cylinder. Okay. And I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to connect it to the other cylinder all right so what i have is two cylinders connected by a hose they're empty with air okay so what i want what i want to show you is now when i press on this plunger i'm going to create a pressure here and that's going to push all the air and it's going to move this plunger out, okay? So I'm gonna use my stomach to push on this because I'm using both hands. So, so I'm gonna push and watch this plunger. Okay, so I press this in, this one moved by pressurizing this hose, all right? I can press this one back in and it's gonna pressurize the hose and this plunger will move out. I hope you can see that, okay?
okay so very basic you're just creating a pressure in the cylinder pressurizing the hose that is pushing this plunger out now the issue is remember i said that air is compressible and fluid is not if you see here when I start pressing this, nothing really happens because the air has to be compressed to a certain point before it actually starts pushing back on this piston and this starts moving out. So there's, there's a delay and this is quite soft when I'm pressing in because I'm compressing that air. So watch this, watch how long it takes before this piston, this plunger starts to move out. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, watch how long this takes. So I'm pressing, pressing, pressing. Only now it starts to move out. Okay, so there's quite a bit of movement before it starts to move out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this down and watch this piston how much I can move it before this actually starts to move. I'm almost pressed three quarter of a way in the cylinder and now I'm starting to feel the pressure on this uh, cylinder and the plunger wants to come out. Almost halfway through the cylinder Still very little movement. Now it's starting to move. Okay, so because the air is so soft, basically just think of it as soft, it's compressible. I have to compress all that air before I'm really making enough pressure to move that cylinder. Okay, so now let's fill this with water and I want to show you the difference because water is basically acting like a solid so you don't get that um, soft feeling when pressing on the uh, plunger. It's quite direct and as you move this immediately this will start to move. So I'm going to fill this with water. I'm going to fill this, the whole line. Hope I don't make a mess here. Okay, so this is filled with water, fluid. Okay, we're gonna say fluid, our hydraulic fluid, and the hose is filled with fluid. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our piston in the end here. Okay. Soon as I start to move this plunger, this is going to move. There's very little delay because there's no, there's no real air anymore in the system. And you're basically pushing on that fluid, which is acting, kind, it's acting like a solid and it wants to move this plunger right away. So let me hold this down here and I'm going to press this. Okay, and this is very hard to push back. There's, it's not very soft at all. It's extremely hard and direct. And if I push back, very little delay. There is a little bit of air in our little example, but compared to having all air, um, there is very little softness, okay? So I can push back either way. And it is quick and direct, okay? So for us, this is our, gonna be our master cylinder, clutch master. 
This is going to be our clutch slave cylinder. And if you're having any issues with a soft clutch pedal, it could be because you have air in the system, okay? And you may need to get that air out by bleeding your uh, clutch master or the slave. And uh, let me go get the clutch master and the slave cylinder. Okay, so here we have uh, Exidy clutch master and the slave cylinder. I don't know why they say slave cylinder. It is so demeaning. But I have heard it called a work cylinder. Uh, some other names, but the most common name around uh, in North America at least is the there's the clutch master and the slave cylinder. And you can guess the clutch master is the one that connects to the pedal. Okay, so here we have, this is your clutch master cylinder and this is what connects at the pedal. And um, this, you can see here, you have the plunger, which will have a piston inside and you have the body, which is the cylinder, okay? That goes there. Now, we need a line, we need the hose, okay? Here you have the hose. This would connect to one end of your master, this is way too long to do in the bathroom. Okay, so you have one end that would go to the master, okay? And here you have the work cylinder or the slave cylinder. This is what goes on the transmission and pushes your, basically pushes your clutch in and out, which I'll show you this installed. This would go here. So you have the line from the clutch master, it goes down, comes back to your slave cylinder, okay? And so if you have any issues with the soft clutch pedal, always check the easiest things first. Is there air in the system? Bleed it using your bleed screws. Does this come with the bleed screw? Oh yeah, right here, your bleed screw right here and see if you can get that air out, okay? So, one second. Okay, so here we have a clutch pedal. This is from a 1993 Honda Civic, okay? It's pretty simple. All it is is a bracket right here. This mounts to under your dash. Then you have this arm that pivots in the bracket okay on the top here you have the um, the clutch safety switch okay so you need to press the clutch down that will activate this switch then you can start the car We'll look at it. I think I made a video about that maybe a long time ago, but we'll look at that later a little bit more. So this is the arm, okay? Now, if I lay the arm down here, there's a big hole right here, and there's a little hole on the, the clutch pedal. So you can't see the whole clutch pedal with this view, but like that okay so again we take our cylinder all right and it has the plunger the piston and if this was our clutch master cylinder it would mount like this okay something like that and this would mount here and when you press the when you press the clutch pedal in it would push on this plunger 
And that would create the pressure in the cylinder, pushing the fluid out. All right. So knowing that, here we have our clutch master cylinder. This goes in here like this. Okay, that is the plunger right there. And this one has a little pin to lock it in place. So that goes through the hole just like that. And there you have your clutch master cylinder attached. And again, if you look here, very simple. It's just a cylinder with a plunger. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that helps you visualize what's going on with that. And of course, you know, just like this thing, if you, if this seal gets damaged, okay, it's not going to be able to hold pressure. So if there's a cut here, if it's worn out, as you try to push, as you try to push through, the fluid could bypass that seal and start to leak out. And stuff like that happens with your master cylinder, with your car hydraulic cylinders, okay? So... This is a simple install, actually. There's one pin, clevis pin here. Then you have two nuts that go on these threaded, these bolts. Right, just like that. They would tighten down. Sockets too shallow. And there you go. That is your clutch assembly. Very basic. Not much to it. When you're looking under the dash, for sure, things seem a lot more complicated. But this is it. It's very basic. Let's turn this little seal here. That's where the... Uh, The hydraulic line will go to you can see the fittings on the end okay like that and of course the other end goes to the other cylinder which mounts on the transmission and I'll show you that a little bit later Okay, so here I have my two cylinders. Remember our syringes and this one's already connected to the pedal. Okay, we have our line. Remember the clear hose. This is our steel braided line. And here we have the slave cylinder or the work cylinder. On the transmission, this is the shift fork. This is the thing that was moving in and out in the video. Okay, so this goes through here. Okay. And on here, there's two holes. I only have one bolt right now, so 
this slave cylinder okay we'll bolt up here okay so the slave cylinders on here you have the clutch pedal when you press the clutch pedal it pressurize the cylinder which pushes all the fluid through which pressurizes this cylinder that moves the piston okay and that moves the fork on the end of the fork you have the release bearing famous release bearing that everybody tells me I'm gonna burn up and I'm still on the original release bearing in the other car that goes there okay and that presses on the pressure plate so you so when you press your clutch in this moves out like that that presses on the pressure plate and that releases your clutch.